In this lesson, we will uh, try to understand what is a data structure and what is the algorithm and why is it important. So first of all, what are data structures? So a data structure is a way of storing or accessing data to or from a computer's memory so that it can be used efficiently. So the same data you have, you can store in multiple formats. Let's say you want to store uh, the some 10 numbers, let's say those represent the age of 10 people or some other thing. So uh, you can store those in the form of an array. You can also store those same 10 numbers in linked list. You can also store them in a hash map. You can store them in a tree. So uh, there are many different ways you can store the same data. So the data remains same, but the way you store them is different. And how will you decide uh, which data structure should be used? So there is no single answer. Let's say you just uh, want to keep some logging. So uh, you will store some in, let's say, an array because storing will be constant time. You will never need to remove anything from in between. So array seems to be a natural choice. But let's say you have uh, those values are unique and those act as some key. And based on that, let's say instead of a simple age, uh, that is some uh, unique ID, employee ID, and you want to access the details of uh, any employee later at some point of time, and those will act as a key. So if you store uh, all, the, all the employee data in a simple array, uh, then uh, while accessing, while searching for the employee data, it will take linear time. And uh, in some big uh, multinational company, you, you can see that there can be 100,000 employees or more. So uh, even in some cases, it can be even more. So uh, if you need to frequently access the details, uh, then uh, it would not be a good data structure. You can use a hash map instead, where you can uh, uh, assume constant time access if your hash function is good. So uh, in that case, we will store that in hash map. So the, uh, which data structure to use, that comes from a uh, huge case. So not, not any single data structure fits all the cases. So one data structure may be useful for one scenario. Some other data structure may be useful for some other application. So that we have to decide based on the application and based on something called running time analysis, which we will see later. So we will analyze which data structure should be used uh, if we use this data structure, then our running time for a given algorithm will decrease. If we uh, use some other data structure, running time will increase. And uh, similarly, space uh, requirement also. So, so uh, we will come to all of those analysis later. So this was a simple definition of data structure. Now it can be linear. So in this case, elements are accessed. And I am uh, emphasizing that accessed only i'm talking about just accessing part not storing for example if you uh, store elements in a linked list you uh, keep on adding nodes and in the end but uh, in the computer memory that may not be actually uh, stored sequentially but when we uh, i trade the list we have to access in a sequential manner so we start from the head of the list and go on next 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 so that accessing part is sequential Storing can also be sequential, but it's not necessary for uh, it to being a sequential data structure. Then uh, example can be like linked list, arrays, stacks, queues, and some more. Similarly, the others will be nonlinear, which are not linear will be automatically become nonlinear. And these are not uh, expected to be stored or accessed in a, any order. For example, trees. So let's say you have some, the way you traverse the tree, the accessing order will change. If you do pre-order traversal, uh, the accessing will be different. If you do in-order traversal, the order will change. Similarly for post-order. Same in the case of graphs and maps. So here ordering is not required or not guaranteed. So in that case, we will use non-linear data structure. So that was about data structure. Next is algorithm. So what is an algorithm? So algorithm is a sequence of computational steps that take some input 
and produces some output so it takes some input and it does some something on this it transform it and generates one output so this output can be some separate uh, completely separate data structure stored in some separate data structure or it can be just modifying the input so you can represent it we have an algorithm sitting here which algorithm we will see throughout this course different types of algorithms it takes one input or a list of values which will we will denote as input and it generates one output so let's take an example let's say you have some values 25 10 1 and 7 this is a list and you want it in this order 1 5 7 10 20 so you will notice that these are sorted sorted means they are arranged in either increasing or dis decreasing order in this case increasing order so 1 is less than 5 it can be also equal to less than equal to but but in this case none of them are equal so 1 is less than its next element 5 5 is less than its next element 7 which is less than 10 which is less than 20 so this is now sorted but the input was not sorted it was some permutation of this same value which we want to get so this is here we want to do sorting now this box can be filled with many different types of algorithm so you must have heard about uh, insertion sort merge sort quick sort and many other sorts heap sort so the time complexity of all those algorithms will be different so all of the algorithms if those are correct algorithms then all of them will produce the same output for a given input but we will see which one we should use and in which case uh, so uh, for example if we do uh, insertion sort which is the simplest sort so if you have uh, sorted some cards you play some card game and then you like to keep them in ordered way in your hands the cards so what you do you pick the smallest one and place it in the beginning and then you look for the next smallest and pick next to it and so on so that is called insertion sort which we will see later and that takes some quadratic time so we will see that uh, merge sort and other sorts that will take uh, n log n time so we will study what all of these time complexity analysis in further lessons so don't worry about that so here i just wanted to give uh, a feel of what is an algorithm and for the same problem we can use multiple algorithms and we have to decide which algorithm we should pick similarly for data structures we had to decide which data structure we should use so uh, that's all for this lesson now in the next lesson we will start with the analysis of algorithm and we will see running time analysis of algorithm so see you in the next lesson